Hello everybody, welcome to Scotty D Gaming, I'm Scotty D and today I'm going to be playing Nightbook. It's a FMV interactive movie from Wales Interactive. Now I've played plenty of interactive movies from Wales Interactive and I'm pretty sure I've enjoyed every single one of them. So today's a good day, I love FMV games, let's do it. I believe it's like a horror style game, I think, I hope it is. So let's get scared. Oh mate, I love disturbing content. Perpetual Professional Unlimited. Laura Lynn. Laura Lynn. It's a weird name. So is this us, or are we spying on Laura Lynn? <laughs> Boris Johnson? <laughs> Fucking hell! <sighs> what the hell's that? <laughs> but yeah, fucking Boris Johnson's went absolutely off his tits, what's he doing? Oh, it's me dad. Get away, you get away from me. Add sedative, I don't add sedative. Nah, let's keep him going wild. Oh, butterfly effect. Right, okay, I'm, I'm interested to see how the choices make a difference in this. So this will probably need a couple of playthroughs. Cody, five minutes. Don't, don't, don't come in, don't come in. Dad, it's me. I've got your dinner. No, no. Tough love. It took a lot of effort to make this. Are you gonna have it? Or did you come here just to be a burden? Oof. Look, we don't need to talk or anything. No, 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 don't, don't. <sighs> now, quickly, quickly. Right, wait there, before she does that, it says, track things in the menu. Keep track of Laura Lynn's rela relationship. So we're, we're on the good side of me dad. Ailsis. Oh, is that his name? P.S. Don't know who that is. Okay, then. You know, I've got a dream catcher on the door. I've just realised this guy's drawn those. The fuck, mate! Whenever you hear that cracking noise in ghost movies, it's always like brutal. Yeah, he's got he's drawn loads of pictures on his walls. I've only just seen that. I was too busy concentrating on him looking like Boris Johnson. Antenatal appointment. Hey babe, is your translation exam today? Translation exam. Start in a couple of minutes. Are you still going to use my work video for your exam? Yeah, I sent it to my boss. At least seeing your face might help. Oh, so that's my man. Don't worry, you got this. Is it my man? Was here a day, the islands out here are amazing. How about here for our wedding venue? <laughs> no, mate. If we go there, we're guaranteed to be ate by cannibals. It looks like cannibal holocaust. Looks beautiful. I miss you. I miss you too, babe. Good luck with your assessment. Why is my webcam part of security system, of our security system? The 
keep the two of you safe. Fair enough. A bit rapey like, but never mind. Cody. You look perfect. How depressing. Good evening, Cody. Ready when you are. You start. I'm just going to turn my camera off for a sec. I mean, she's not even... Listen, lads. If you ever get in a meeting, right? And someone tells you, oh, just carry on. I'm going to turn my camera off. It means that they're not paying any attention. I'm just going to let you do And then at the end of it, I'll turn the camera on and go, oh, yeah, that's very good. Um, yeah, spot on. Uh, what I was going to say is, why the fuck are the subtitles in the middle of the screen? Like, there's a perfectly nice bit of screen at the bottom. Why are the subtitles, like, so, so high? She said, I'm still here. When you click the link, the video will start. Interpret it as best you can. Okay. Naf music, please. The gods I like the music. Archipelago boasts some of the most beautiful sites in the North Pacific Ocean. Perhaps none more so than its largest island, Nepus. However, despite this, there is very little development on the island. And no tourists. The Neem Bateau Hotel Group, in conjunction with Quinton Engineering, is proposing the development of the Iowa Well Cove site into a luxury 35 room hotel, spa, and scuba diving complex. Nice. Uh, interpret, yeah? And des services de plongée with masques and scaphandres. Our consultation period has already begun, and we know that you will be as committed as we are to bringing this project to fruition with the minimum disruption to the natural landscape and wildlife of this beautiful bay. Our preliminary planning application is before the God's Hand Island Council, and we hope that you will join us in making our proposition the best it can be for the local economy and employment prospects, so that construction can begin early next year, ready to open our doors the following year. Et une promesse de création d'emplois pour que les travaux puissent commencer au début de l'année prochaine, et que ce nouveau complexe ouvre ses portes l'année suivante. We hope to. I will welcome you soon. Yeah, just interpret it. Le chef de projet joue sur le nom de la crique Iwawel et le mot anglais welcome qui signifie bienvenue pour souligner son désir de vous souhaiter la bienvenue très bientôt au sein de l'hôtel. I think we nailed that there. Right. Look, she wasn't uh, even paying let's attention. Have a look then, shall we? Uh, well, I forgot the word for scuba diving and Yeah, because that's a word you hear every day. I tried to keep up the pace, but I wasn't fast enough. He was talking really fast. Look, there was a golden half second there where I really thought you had it. You were getting the gist across, nice, simple and quick. And then you went straight back to trying to get it exactly right. Can we do another one? What? No. Oh, please, your advice is so valuable to me. I know I can do better. You know what I think? I think you should cut yourself a break. This is interpreting, not translation. You don't have to be word fucking perfect. Eh? There is... I did... Mate, did I not interpret everything? Or un unless this choice makes no difference. Maybe the start of the game, like your choices don't matter until things start kicking off. Um, Mate, I interpreted everything because that's right. Like, if you do ever go into a job like this where you have to... It might not be language interpretation. It might just be interpreting, interpreting, interpreting something. As a, um, just be confident. You don't have to be word perfect. Just get the message across. That's the whole point. There isn't... There isn't time. Speaking of which... Oh, shit. What was that? N nothing. Probably should have sedated me, Dad. Oh. Okay, uh, give me 15 minutes to clear some emails. Then uh, let's get this shift started. Oh, do we get the job? Amen Corner Medical Center. Let's read it. Are we actually pregnant? Pregnancy screening test. Oh, we are. Right. So let's have a look. Blood test email. 
Um, dear Miss Wilson, we are writing to communicate the results of recent testing performed on the 4th of February 2021. We happen to inform you that all screening tests are negative. Despite initial concerns and the underlying health issues that you have notified us of, we have no reason for further investigation in this instance. Please refer to our helpful leaflet, Advice for When You Are Expecting. For more information, please see our website and do continues and do continues to inform us of any concerns. Okay, there's a fucking translation error for you. Kind of a do kind of, kind of a dods. Regards. PM Denton. Okay. The curse of the canar. Right. Is Quentin Engineering's a lipus development doomed to fail? There is nowhere on earth as beautiful as the God's Hand, God's Hand Islands. So you think it's a great place for property developers, Quentin Engineering, to build a new hotel? Think again. Call it a curse if you want, but know that any big shot foreigner who ignores repeated warnings of the Kanar native people and the legend of the island spirits will come to regret it. Mate, has this guy, fucking my husband that's our there making a hotel, pumped some island spirit into me? I want to give birth to an island spirit. It's affecting me, Dad. I've already called it. Look, every room's got one of those dream catchers on it. What's the matter? I'm just down the hall trying to be professional and you're banging on the walls. I'm sorry. I can't hear you, this is stupid. What the fuck? Dad, come on, this oh. is ridiculous. You need to come out. I can't. I, I, I don't want to put you and the baby in danger. Then why did you come here? Because Pierce has gone off to that place. Le, le Pousse? Il, il a même pas été encore sur l'île. Uh, le, le Pousse is not even been on the island yet. But when he does, he will come back with them. And we have got to be ready. Dad, there is no curse. So. I'm just a crazy person, and is, is that it? Tell the truth. I think your evil spirits would go away if you listened to your doctor. You're not well, Dad. <laughs> At least that's honest. <laughs> I'm just worried it's getting worse. Oh, well, they must have heard about your fiancé's development. How is Pierce? He's fine. How are you? And the baby? Direct. Please don't change the subject. Fine. Ain't you all right? They are getting stronger, and there is only so much that I can do to stop them. I want you to lock me in. What? I can't resist them for much longer, and God knows what happens when I'm asleep. Lock them in. I need you to lock me in. I trust you, Dad. I don't hurt you. Fine. I lock you in. Good. I just hope it's enough. I need to go back to work. Are you translating to French or that Lapouse language? The fact that I speak Canal makes me very employable. Nah. That language is dangerous and so is that I island. need this. I need this job, okay? For me. Well, I'll do what I can to keep him quiet. Thanks. <laughs> I like this guy, he's Night a fucking guy. legend. Try to get some sleep. Yeah, sleep is the last thing I should be doing at night. I'm dying to see what actually happens now. It's fucking awesome. Oh no, I've just realised why he said, uh, uh, why the husband said, I want to, I've got these cameras to keep an eye on you too, which is pregnant. Now I get it. Good, lock him in. And again, we might need his help. Shit. Might have been a bad idea, that. I'll answer it. Hey, gorgeous. How's it going? Yeah, good. Good. You mean Cody's not being a pain? Well, actually, she wants me to cut myself a break, so... 
Yeah, well, she'd be interpreting for the United Nations if she was so great. Don't worry about Cody. We both know you work best under pressure. Anything new with you? The investors want more site surveys that they don't want to pay for, and the locals want us to leave, but they also want us to give them jobs. Mm, I'm sure you'll sort it all out. I absolutely will. Is your father still in our house? Yeah. Any better? Mm, not really. That security system's the best investment I ever made. Just keep feeding him his meds, okay? It'll be mm. It's not much longer now. I'll get this project sorted, and then the three of us will be out on the poos. No time. Well, my dad has vowed never to set foot on that island again. Oh, so he's been I... there before? No. The three of us. You, me, and our little IVF miracle in there. Oh. <laughs> you tell me you're still pregnant. Yes, we, of course. <laughs> the three of us. Laura Lynn, I have a treat for you. Oh, he's banging his head against the wall again. What, what is it? <laughs> In Yabu, Daddy went to Lapus. It's good, right? I want to tell him the truth. It's shit. Honestly? <laughs> I'm just getting it. Mate, I'm just get, I'm just, I'm just getting it. Daddy went to Lapoose because he smashed a fanny in. <laughs> you hate it, don't you? Pretty funny though. <laughs> Mate, I'm gonna get the yes, Lapoose every night. Can we be serious for a moment? Do you think the rumors are true? The curse? No, oh, no way. Everything on the island's been smooth sailing. I, mean, I know you do a lot with the local people because of your languages, but come on. Evil spirits protecting the plant life. <laughs> oh, I, I, I've got to go. Uh, take it easy, okay? That's our little prince in there, and I'll speak to you later. Love you. I'm fucking scared for her. Look, the keys are gone. The keys are gone from the door, even though we locked them in. Don't know if that's intentional or not. You're in demand tonight. Two calls. Both need someone who can speak Kanar. Perfect. I've got a call between two businessmen. Uh, someone called Teron. Uh -huh. uh, wants someone to authenticate a book before he buys it. And at the same time, I've got a kid who wants to speak to his mother. Um, I think they're estranged. He says he knows you. Max Vito? Oh, I know Max. I'm teaching him Kanar. I guess you want Max then. Sounds like the other one would be better for my career. Think with your head. I'll take the business call then. Please, Cody. Okay. I'll put you on. I'll I be popping even... in and out to monitor, as usual. Remember, you don't need to be perfect. See, at the... I'm not really a fan at the moment of the choices because they're not really clear on what you are going to be doing like it says think with your heart think with your head what fucking relevance has that got you know what i mean i didn't i didn't understand it bonsoir bienvenue chez glossa lingua avez-vous déjà utilisé nos services oui on m'a dit que vous saviez lire le canard oui C'est un rare don, de ce côté du globe. Merci. 
Merci beaucoup. Uh, good evening, my name is Loraline. I'm an interpreter with Glossa Lingua. One of our account holders would like to speak with you. Are you willing to accept the call? Yep. Connecting you now. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. How was your flight? Uh, yes, well, okay. Voilà. J'ai bien peur qu'on ait atteint les limites de mes And capacités. And that is the extent of my English, I'm afraid. Right. Well, never mind. Good morning. Bonjour. Enfin, enfin, bonsoir. Ah, bonsoir. Good evening. Yeah, evening. I meant evening. <laughs> well, anyway, shall we crack on? Eh bien, commençons. I received your email. Just wanted to know how you became aware that I had this title. Mais en effet, je l'ai bien. It's a very valuable and treasured possession. But I may be persuaded to part with it. Give me my price. Mais seulement juste prix. Je comprends bien. Mais avant tout, je understand. But before we continue too far, I wonder, may I see it? Anyone would think you don't trust me. On pourrait croire que vous ne me faites pas confiance. Ce n'est pas du tout ça. Not at all. There we are. The Book of the Devil. The Necronomicon. Magnifique. Uh, it's beautiful. It's expensive. Il coûte cher. Évidemment. <laughs> of course. J'aimerais savoir, Monsieur Vito, si vous seriez prêt à me I would be curious, Mr. Vito, if you would oblige me with the story of how you happened to come by this book. Hey. Uh, hein? Uh, je vous demande pardon. I beg your pardon? What did he say? Qu'est-ce qu'il dit? Qu'est-ce que j'ai dit? Mais j'ai dit que je serais curieux oh, uh, de connaître l'histoire uh, de comment vous avez dit chez lui. I said I would love to learn the story of... of the story. There's this French missionary, uh, 18th century or whatever, um, he sent out to God's Hand Island to convert the locals to Christianity. Uh, three years later, he returns to France preaching about how they know more about hell than he ever did and that evil spirits would follow him. Et qu'il était poursuivi par de mauvais esprits. Bon, excusez-moi. Mademoiselle, notre interprète, Loraline, puis-je vous demander ce qui pose problème Je ne me fais pas assez bien comprendre. Oh non, je, je suis vraiment désolée. J'essaye je, de rester, en fait, j'essaye de rester très précise dans mon interprétation, mais je crois que cela embrouille, Monsieur Vito. Ah, vous êtes trop précise. C'est bien ça le problème. Bah, c'est plutôt moi qui ne, sois, qui ne suis pas assez claire, non Oh, non, ce, ce n'est vraiment pas à moi d'en juger. Pardon. Ne vous inquiétez pas, je n'ai l'habitude. Un de mes collègues me le dit tout le temps. Alors, euh... Bon, je vais essayer de rester concis. Et vous, restez précise. J'apprécie la précision. Bon. S'il vous plaît, pouvez-vous me Please. dire d'où vient Will you ce tell me where this book came from Maybe later. Uh, Peut-être plus tard. D'accord. Um, ok. Mm. Est-ce que je pourrais voir le colophon Bluff it. Um, Bluff it, go on, do it. Um, may I see the colophon? What's the colophon? Qu'est-ce que le colophon? C'est la page au début. Uh, it's the page at the front of the book with the publishing date on it. There we are. Le voilà. Alors, ça fait longtemps que vous êtes venu à la maison de la book trade, Mr. Vito. En tout cas, c'est ce que vous voulez dire. Parce que ce n'est pas ce que vous m'avez dit à croire. Bon, il faut commencer quelque part. Eh bien, oui, il faut bien commencer quelque part. Uh, en effet. En effet. Est-ce 
May I see a page full of text? Something He's going to get what he wants out of this without buying it. That's hilarious. That's what I'd do. He just wants this, I bet. <gasps> Don't. Don't read out loud. Don't. He's done this on purpose to see if it's real. Oh, fuck. She used the fucking words. Uh, Est-ce que c'est ce que vous cherchez? Oui. Ça fait. Uh, yes, it was. Merci. C'était parfait. Bon, j'ai besoin de réfléchir un peu. Euh, ne vous inquiétez pas. Uh, I, I need to think about this. Je veux acheter. I have no fear. I am now very serious about buying this book. But I have another appointment now. Est-ce que je peux vous Can rappeler I dans une heure? Can I call you in an hour? Oh, it's a little late over here. C'est-à-dire qu'il est déjà assez tard ici. Je peux faire en sorte que cela va être. I can make appel. it very worth your while. Okay. D'accord. One hour. Une heure. I'm not staying up any later. Je n'attendrai pas plus longtemps. Très bien, merci. Of course, thank à you. Tout à l'heure. Until then. Alors, ça fait longtemps que vous êtes traductrice. Euh, interprète. Je ne suis pas vraiment traductrice. Je vois. Eh bien, euh, dites-moi si vous avez des problèmes. Le canard est une langue sacrée qui a été inventée pour communiquer avec les esprits. Ça peut créer des problèmes chez certaines personnes. Ça va aller. Merci. This guy knows. He did that on purpose to see if it fucked with me. Dickhead. Well done, it's a treat to hear the canon language being spoken, Theron. Hmm. Were you monitoring the call? Yes. <sighs> Your dad's getting fucked up in the other room because of you. I think he's going to try and get out. Excellent. We did the right thing. I look the keys back in the door again. That was an inconsistency earlier on. <laughs> this guy is wild. Yeah, so wait there, I've got a theory. I've got a theory, right? Any foreigner who's been to that island can be controlled by the demons, but anybody who speaks the sacred language will be killed via a proxy which is anybody that's been to the island you know what i mean you know what i mean so the, the, i don't think the spirits can directly haunt anyone that hasn't been to the island they can only be affected by someone being what's the word when it, someone takes over you forgot the word when a demon takes over somebody else that has actually stepped foot on the island i think that's how it works I 
I need you to believe me. Five workers killed. Oh shit. Read article three. Airport development closed for safety inspection after five workers killed in deadly blast. This afternoon, Employment Minister Jacques Fiche announced that the Le Pousse International Airport construction site would close, effective immediately following the death, deaths of five workers in an unexplained explosion. The deaths come after workers on their site were complaining of hearing strange and evil voices. Project manager Elise Wilson, Elise Wilson, is that my mate? My, my boyfriend, I can't remember, all the names are fucking messed up. Is currently being held for questioning. Although police have stated that they do not currently suspect foul play, his legal representative, right with there, Elisis. Oh fuck, he's Elisis. I'm 100% relationship with him. Theron likes me. Vito likes me. P.S. P.S. is my husband. I need to remember that name. Shit. Project manager Elisis Wilson is currently being held for questioning. Although police have stated that they do not currently suspect foul play, his legal representative Jacqueline Vito quit her legal practice last Wednesday after a mental breakdown on site. Jacqueline Vito? So his wife? That's how he got the book? His wife was there? That's how he's got the book? Long-term opponent of the site, Jean-Pierre Theron, has criticised the closure as embarrassingly overdue. However, key investor Carl Vito has released a statement insisting that these events are no more than a series of unfortunate accidents. Okay, so, Carl Vito, the guy on the call with us, he covered up saying that it's just an unfortunate accident because he's a key investor. Jean-Pierre Theron didn't want this to go ahead. And that would explain why he wanted us to read that because he's going to use the murders and demons to kill everyone as best he can. He wants to unleash hell. Mate, I've already got everybody worked out. Fucking brutal. Go on, we'll read them all. Creation myth of Great Tree. The creation myth of the Canal Belief System. The, tr the Great Tree, Pelusi, took root and grew tall, raising the islands above the flooded world. Great Tree oozed with life, but also spirits. The Kye Kyanem, ancient others, they lived and spoke with each other in the great tree. Over time, the spirits grew numerous, but also wary of their ancestral home. They wished to see more of the world, and so the spirits took form. C'est pas vrai. Ah, so they want to escape. And they escape through language. Shit, look, there's vines growing on the... Bro, you need to go down and fucking stop that door from opening. Oh, you fucked up there, like... Oh, it's 
You called us, we follow. Fuck that, just get out of the house. Why would you even stay there, you absolute mother? I'd be gone, mate. I wouldn't even be in the same city, town, province, district, country. I'd be, I'd, I'd be in a different country already. I would run so fast, I would just run over the top of the water. Are you really going back to work, you absolutely crazy bitch? Okay. Oh, we're going to ring him and tell him what happened. Monsieur Theron. Je m'excuse, mais je n'ai pas beaucoup de temps à vous consacrer. Uh, well, you need to. Qu'est-ce qui se passe? Uh, comme vous le savez, le canard est une langue sacrée utilisée autrefois uniquement pour s'adresser aux esprits. Eh bien, je crois que j'ai dérangé de vieux esprits tout à l'heure. Ça, c'est très curieux. Mon père ne va pas bien. Et après notre appel, une chose étrange s'est produite. Une, une ombre est apparue et il s'est mis à marcher comme s'il était sous l'emprise de quelque chose. Et vous pensez que c'est à cause du passage que vous avez lu en canard Yes. Bien sûr, je, je vois pas d'autres explications. Je suis pas sûr. C'est vrai qu'on entend des histoires étranges de personnes qui auraient eu des comportements anormaux après avoir entendu parler de canard, mais je n'y ai jamais trouvé. Why do you want the book? Tell me. Pourquoi voulez-vous acheter ce livre? Bonne question. Probe. Et la réponse? Vous êtes direct, vous. Écoutez, je suis désolé, mais je vais devoir. Attendez. S'il vous plaît, vous voulez bien m'aider euh, Je vais voir ce que je peux faire, mais je ne suis pas sûr de pouvoir grand-chose pour vous. Je dois absolument récupérer ce livre. Ah mmh. Eh bien, dans ce cas-là, je crois que vous aussi, vous pouvez me venir en aide. Je soupçonne M. Vito de me mentir. Et vous, vous pouvez m'aider à découvrir la vérité. Comment Je ne suis qu'interprète. Je ne peux pas l'empêcher de mentir. Bah ben non. Mais les menteurs se trahissent toujours. Par des mots, des hésitations, des pauses. Faut être très précis pour remarquer ce genre de détails. Et encore plus pour les traduire. Mais je vous en crois capable. Qu'est-ce que vous en dites I don't trust them, but I want to do it. D'accord. Je vais vous aider à récupérer le livre. Parfait. Even though I don't trust him, I think it's going to lead up to the most fucked up things happening. I want the book. Oh shit, she's going to be on the next call. Right, this is it, the time. Ooh, I don't really know what I'm going to be doing. Hello. Good evening. Yes. Good evening. J'aimerais commencer, si vous me permettez. I'd like to start, if I may, by reminding you of your promise. Oh. Oh. Bon, je suis conscient du fait que Now I'm aware that maybe there is just the smallest of possibilities. Uh, I don't want to offend you, but it struck me that perhaps that book took a somewhat uh, circuitous route into your possession. You what? Ce qui veut dire que 
si vous n'avez pas la paperasse nécessaire à la vente, That is to say, if you lack the full paperwork for this item, it should be reflected in the price. Loraline here, Monsieur Theron wants to know if the book is stolen. You can tell him that it's not stolen, and I resent the implication. Ce livre n'a pas été volé, et je n'apprécie pas vos sous-entendus. Je ne voulais pas vous offenser. I didn't mean to offend. Really. En revanche, intéressant de constater que vous ayez immédiatement mm. que je vous accusais de vol. Anything else? Bon, I was under the impression that we had a deal, that you were satisfied. Vous à Je pensais que ça voulait dire que vous étiez satisfait. Presque. Vous voudrez bien me montrer Very la nearly. Would you mind showing me vous what condition the book is in? Caméra. Just hold it up to the camera. J'aimerais surtout voir la tronche. I'd like to see the slice in particular. Ce qui veut dire le bord des pages, Laureline. It means si the edges of the pages, Laureline, if uh, Monsieur Vito is struggling. <laughs> Parfait. Excellent. Pourriez-vous faire quelques fan pages, s'il vous plaît? Some pages out for me. Pour me faire plaisir. Humor me. Oh, what is he in? Laissez-les retomber tout doucement. Ease them back gently. There it is. That's the symbol. That's what he wanted to see. No! Oh shit, he sent it to me, didn't he? Uh, ça va? Uh, yes, uh, ça va. Uh, I'm fine. Where were we? Indiquez votre prix, Monsieur Vito. Uh, uh, name your price, Monsieur Vito. My price is five million le plus francs. Mon prix est... Five million. Cinq millions de francs le pouce. Je pense qu'on peut trouver un accord. I think we can make a deal. Excellent. Mais peut-être pas celui que vous But croyez. Perhaps not in the way you think. Je sais d'où vient ce livre. Il y a une famille. I know du where this book comes from. There's a Dubois family on the pouce with a very peculiar family crest. Dans des circonstances. They lost their copy a few years ago under mm. unusual circumstances. What do you want? Qu'est-ce que vous voulez? Je vous propose 200 000 francs. Counter offer, two hundred thousand francs. <laughs> no way. Hors de question. But ça serait dommage. It would be a shame, Mr. Vito, would it not, if the Dubois were to suddenly find out about the whereabouts of their precious heirloom? She'd never sell. Elle ne le vendrait jamais. But ça, je sais. Oh, I know. D'où mon offre plus que je. And my very generous offer. You are aware that you're blackmailing me in front of a witness. Vous du chantage devant un témoin. Je ne vous ai accusé de rien. I have accused you of nothing. <laughs> Alors, est-ce que vous êtes d'accord? So, do we have a deal or do we not? Deal. C'est d'accord. Excellent. J'ai besoin que vous me l'envoyiez par courrier ce soir. Je peux vous. I need it couriered tonight. Mais... We can email the details. Money first. L'argent d'abord. Bien sûr. Absolutely. Bonne nuit, Monsieur Vito. Good night, Mr. Vito. It's morning. C'est le matin ici. Good morning. <laughs> twat. Twat. He called him a twat. What a legend. He's going to read the book. What is your address? Oh, he's gonna send it to me. Excellent. Croydon. What a shithole. Well done on the sale. You know you heard the call earlier when I was speaking, Cannot. Is anything weird happening? 
Are you okay? Ooh, that's not good. She's starting to see fucked up things as well, isn't she? She didn't even reply. Okay. Right. I can't wait to get this book. I want to raise the dead with it. Track on private deliveries. Not far. Okay, the book is on its way. Think of something else. I don't want to leave the apartment. I want to stay here in the thick of it. All our eggs are in one basket now. Seeing this through to the end. What the fuck's he doing? He's gonna hit open the door. Fuck's that? Oh, there's phone. Police, please. Hello? Hello? Answer it. Answer it, man, you might need help. Oh, look, he's all kinds of messed up. Dad? Stop distracting humans. Uh, now, uh, uh, protect the great tree. Stop the human destroyers. What can you repeat? Perrier. Uh, Perrier Kawa. <laughs> Okay, so that's what they want, apparently. You help us. Me? I'm not helping you. We are two. When you hold us. To this. You are our vessel. Bulawi Pilamenhenko. Protect the great trees, stop the human destroyers. Pierce, you want me to stop Pierce and the development? You help us? I'm not your vessel. I shall not do your bidding. No, I am not your vessel. Yaktivit Niv Bulaoi Pilamenhenko. Then, Hong Kong, 
You will help us. Or we will end those loved by you. And hang Kodiju. You warned, I'm not gonna help you, I'm gonna sabotage him. Fucking spirits is the reason why you're dead. You are no longer of this world. Laureline? Dad! What's happening? Don't worry, I've sorted it. Get some rest. Everything is going to be okay. We don't negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> I don't know why the ghosts are, I know why the ghosts are mad because they can't enjoy the benefits of a spa because they're dead so it's just jealousy I'm in a meeting right now can't talk bro I'm your wife make time yes they say yes I want to see what's going on with my boss. Is she experiencing things? I want to answer it. Hi, uh, Laura Lynn. Uh, sorry, I know I promised we would do another practice session this evening. Oh, oh fuck. <sighs> These uh, night shifts. I swear I can hear someone speaking. Can I? Mate, there's people that pay for drugs to make them feel like that. going on guilt trip because direct's not going to work with him i need you to keep our family safe okay of, of course but what's wrong everything okay be direct now I, I need you to stop the building project what why <laughs> Is everything okay? Uh, Laurelin? Guilt trip. I'll tell you, but I need you to believe me. Okay, you need to calm down. Just now. I'm happy to believe you. Just tell me what it is. I'm happy to believe you. What a cunt. Oh, we've got scissors, that's not good. Are you okay? <sighs> oh. The repulse is real. Laura Lynn. You said you'd believe me. Oh, come on. It's one thing, all this with the Islanders, but you two? I really don't need this. Maybe they have a point. They've attacked Dad. They've attacked me. 
<laughs> you need to give in on these pills. Just stop the project. You're the only one who can. You know, I knew working these night shifts was a bad idea while you were pregnant. What? You need to get some rest. No. You're being hysterical. I'll square it with Cody. No! I have to get back to a meeting. I'll have my sister dies. come over and spend a couple nights with you. Love you, babe. Get some rest. I hope he dies because he's a prick. As if you would leave your lass in a distressed state by going like, oh, but I mean. Brutal. <laughs> I just want this book and then we can get revenge. Go on, get it. Get it. Bro, fucking Amazon's waiting. Go and get it. Hope it's the book. Maybe it's the lies. Do you want to check the people or not? Oh, he's posted it. Okay. Read the book. We need to read it. Yeah, Niamh, you did, David. Yeah. Don't say that, you fucking idiot. No! 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 <laughs> She's a fucking idiot. This better not be the end. That's fucking stupid. So basically, stop. She can read the fucking text, right? She knows what it means. But she still said, I am your fucking body forever. It's she fucking stupid. She deserves it. She's a cunt. Fucking get out my face. <laughs> Oh look what, she's gonna kill herself on camera. Okay, um, that, it was that the best ending? <laughs> I think that's the best ending. Well, it's not though, because my dad died. Right, I'm definitely going to do another playthrough. Um, it was alright. It's, it's not the best Wheels Interactive game I've ever played, because the choices don't really make much sense. It's like you just, you just pick in one of two options, and it doesn't really... It's got no logic on which way it's going to take you, which I don't like. I like to have choices spelled out.
to what exactly I'm going to be doing. And it didn't do that, so uh, you can tell it's a lockdown game. It was built in lockdown because you can't really, you couldn't really go out and do shit. But um, yeah, it was all right. Right, let's skip this. Well, we'll not. There's not that many people in the game, is there? So, I don't know whether we can... ...jump to destroying the book. I'll tell you what I might do. I might make all the same choices off camera up until we get to the point where we can destroy the book and then I'll record that and put it at the end of this episode maybe and I'll do another playthrough where we make significantly different choices I think that'll be a better idea that's actually what I'm gonna do Come on, credits. Insurance provided by AJG Insurance. These were credited the insurance company. Bruh. I just want to shout out Spec Savers for providing all the glasses to the fucking actors. I just want to give a shout out to Durex for all the sex we had during production. Why would you shout out those people? That's fucking crazy. Is that it? Is that it? One thing I do like about Wheels Interactive Games is how high res their logo is. It's a pretty high res logo that I like it. That is it? Yes? Maybe? No? Come on, there's got to be an end sequence. No, there's not. Oh, so here we go. 15 endings! Status. Conditions found. Data's caught out found one. That this, this doesn't even make any sense. Deceased. One out of three. Data's possessed found. Data's career. Found three out of five. I did, I don't even know what this I don't even understand what this means. Caught out. Right, okay, today what I'm going to do, I am going to, um, I'm going to go through a new game by myself to try and make, I'm going to make all the same decisions I made there, but the only difference is I'm going to burn the book instead and we'll see, I'll see you, like, now, with that ending. Right, lads, here we are, so we're at the choices. Actually, there's an option in the, there's an option in the option that allows you to do away with the timers, so that's good, so here we go. This is where we destroyed, so I've made all the same choices that I did in the playthrough we've just watched. And this is what happens if we destroy the book. Light it up. I think that's killed the whole thing, all the spirits. Dad, we did it! It's gone. Oh, it's it's gonna be better, sweet watch. Please say PS is dead. Oh, is dad dead? Oh, he might die because he was um possessed. No! 
Is that it? What the f What the fuck? That was fucking stupid, that like. Right, so that's our second ending. So. Okay then, right, um, I don't actually know what the good ending could possibly be. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, like normally when you play these games, you can kind of see what you need to do or what you can do to make things either good or bad. This is a bit ambiguous, which I kind of like. So there we go. That's the first two endings. Um, I want to do another playthrough where I just make all the different choices and see where that takes us. Maybe one of the changing points is, can you remember how we had a choice to either take a call from these two guys there on the right side of the screen or talk to this kid? Maybe I want to talk to the kid because maybe the kid's the one that knows something. And I think that choice is to go with your heart instead of your head. Okay then lads, well I hope you've enjoyed the, the first playthrough and the, the first two endings that we've got. I, I doubt we're going to get all 15 endings because that's just... It's too many, son. Unless a lot of those endings are deaths that you can make. Like, maybe if we don't lock the door, we get murdered in the first 10 minutes. That's probably an ending. Maybe. We'll see. What about stats? Oh, that was stats. Okay, lads. Hope you enjoyed the, the playthrough of Nightbook, and I'll see you in the next one.